First, I'd like to welcome everybody to this free talk in a world of where you pay for everything. It is very rare that you have an opportunity to hear someone like Lisa Tenner. Um, I'm Dennis Ribello. I'm the president of University Business Consultants. We're a business growth consultancy and leadership consultancy, and we work with business owners throughout the country. I've been engaged with Lisa in conversations several times and pleased with um, the way she has taken her business acumen fueled mostly by her education at the Sloan School at MIT and blended it with just fantastic innate coaching ability to be able to codify a process for people looking to take their book writing desire and convert that desire to reality, which is, well, not so easy. So without further ado, and yes, this is the person you've seen highlighted on the ABC World News. So without further ado, Lisa Tenner. Thank you, Dennis. And thank you, everyone, for coming. I'm really hoping that by the end of this evening, you have a real sense of how you're going to write your book and finish it in 2008, if that's your desire. So I'm really excited to be here. And I want to thank All That Matters, too, for providing the space and our wonderful videographers here. <laughs> and. Uh, so here we are, and the, the goal is really to help you by the end of this evening to know how you're going to write your book in 2008 and to have the beginnings of a plan. And I want to talk a little bit about the rewards of writing your book. There are tons of them, and you can probably think of some of them too, but one big one is that it really gives you some credibility and expertise. People will see you now as an expert in the field, and there will be people coming to you who maybe didn't know about you before. So it's a very exciting opportunity to sort of raise the level at which you're working and you may find people offering you new opportunities, uh, public speaking opportunities and other opportunities to really reach larger groups. So that's an exciting piece of writing your book and publishing your book. It can bring you more business in whatever you're doing. And it, the ultimate thing, you are going to have an effect on your own life and on society, on others. So it's a really, really exciting thing to be thinking about, but here's what it's going to take. It's going to take passion, persistence, and planning. And so we're going to cover those three things today, how you can get, how you can capture that, the passion, the persistence, and the planning, so that you really do get to write your book and complete your book. So I'm going to ask you all now to participate in an exercise, and you can have a seat, even you, Cindy. <laughs> And close your eyes and really take this moment for yourselves. And people who are watching on YouTube or on the video, please take this moment for yourself too and close your eyes and really think about and connect with why you're writing this book. What is it going to do for your life? What is it going to do for the lives of other people, the people who read your books? You probably thought quite a bit about these people. Maybe you work with them on a regular basis or, or serve them as clients. What is it going to do for their lives to read this book? What's the wisdom you're sharing and how is it going to make a difference? <coughs> and so now I'm going to ask you to just picture a day in your life. The book is written, it's published, people are buying it, they're excited about it. And I want, to picture, I want you to picture just one moment of that book's impact. It may be that you're being interviewed on your favorite talk show. It may be that you're speaking to a large crowd of people. Or it may be that somebody has stepped out of that crowd and is telling you, what a difference your book has made in their life. So now take that moment and really connect in with how it feels, what you're hearing from people, what you're seeing in this moment as your book is really having an impact, and what is happening. When you're ready, you can open your eyes. Probably take longer. So, this is an exercise you can come back to anytime. And in fact, I encourage my students all the time to come back to this when things come up. You know, whether it's their boss asks them to take on a new project and they're not sure they have time for the book, or someone in the family's gotten sick and suddenly they're wondering how could I fit it into my schedule, or it may just be that they're feeling like, where'd my inspiration go? This is an exercise that can take you right back to that place of inspiration and connection and knowing why, why you're writing this book. And the inspiration can start to flow right then and there. So passion, we talked about. Now the second thing is persistence. And it took me seven years to, from concept to actually holding a book in my hands 
and uh, my, my very first book. And, and that's really why I became a book coach, was to make that process easier for people so it doesn't take them seven years to learn what I learned. I want to share that wisdom that I've learned so that it's, and it's a lot quicker. I have clients where, you know, I start with them and within a year they have a publisher. So, you know, and sometimes even quicker. So, yes, it can happen that way and, and that's certainly my goal. I have one person who started in, I think it was July, and he, has a, he, had, he signed a contract by December. So, with the publisher of his choice, he had a few, a few, a few offers. So, it, it, it really can be a lot quicker, but you are going to hit obstacles. Everybody does. You know, it may be those obstacles we talked about before. It could be emotional obstacles, just something inside that you need to kind of push through to really open to the fullness of what this opportunity is for you, writing this book and publishing it. So, persistence is going to be really important. And I want you to know that when people say no, let's say an agent says no, or they're not interested, or a publisher says no, or one of your readers says, this isn't working for me, that isn't working for me, this is what no means. No means go deeper. And so when you hear that no, you ask some questions. Well, what wasn't working? What would have worked? What do you need? And then you refine your process and refine your book or your book proposal, and you'll find that your book will eventually be what they're looking for because you've listened. So no means go deeper. And again, you can go back to that passion to recharge if you're feeling like, oh, I don't know, can I really do this? Uh, and the third thing in terms of persistence is be accountable to others. If you have a colleague, some, maybe somebody who also is writing a book, or it could be someone who you just know would be very supportive of you. Or it could be a family member who's supportive, a spouse, a partner. Ask them to check in with you and say, how's the book coming? Because it's really helpful to be accountable to people. That will help you stay on track and be persistent. So we've got two Ps, and we're down to the third one, which is the plan. And that's going to take a little longer, because that's sort of the bigger chunk, is creating that plan. And so I actually have some notes for you that are going to be passed around. But we're going to talk a little bit about what goes into the plan, and then you're actually going to get that opportunity to start making your plan right now, in this moment.